season is reaching the halfway mark. We'll take a look at the MVP frontrunners. That's next on Two Girls on Sports. What you got? Hi everyone, I'm Erica. And I'm Jaina. You're watching Two Girls on Sports. So, the NBA season is well underway. The Lakers and the Celtics are great. <laughs> there are a few other teams playing as well. But who is the MVP frontrunner this year, Erica? What do you think? Okay, now considering Jaina, we're only halfway through the season, not even quite halfway, but I'm going to say LeBron King James. I think that he is playing phenomenally, but not even that he's playing so well, it's that his team is playing so well. I think at this point they are four games? Yes, 26 and four, 26 and four the Cleveland um, Cavaliers are. Last year, um, King James was doing very well, fairly well, but you know, his team wasn't doing well at all. So this year, not only is he 52% shooting, 6.7 assists, 6.7 rebounds, he's actually on a team with a winning record. So I'm gonna go with King James all the way, his clapping his hands, his dust flying in the air, his fancy commercials, his oh, no. superstar celebrity. He deserves it. He is mm. King James and he's playing great basketball. You know what I believe makes you an MVP? If you are playing the best basketball of your life on a team, well, that doesn't really look like a team. <laughs> I am going with Dwayne Wade. Dwayne. Dwayne Wade, you are playing the best basketball mm. of your life with, well, not the team that LeBron James has, not, that's not for at sure. All. Not at all. You are averaging 27.4 points, 4.9 rebounds a game, 7.5 assists. I never get that. Like, why 7.5? 7.5. 7.5. 2.5 steals, 1.7 blocks. But he is going out there after being injured, after mm -hmm. people questioning whether or not he was going to have a good year, and he is having a phenomenal year, and he does not have the team surrounding him that other players have that makes them look good. He has no one making him look good. He is making himself look good. He's, so I'm going Dwayne Wade. You're going, you're going Dwayne. But again, LeBron has something that D Wade does not have, and that's a starting a starting position on a team <laughs> with a 26 and 4 record. So that would be a team around him that can play basketball. Exactly. That so, would be what he has. You know, people get the stats sometimes in their teams. I mean, we have so. to look at too. You've got to say, you know, Kobe Bryant's always in the talk. True. Kevin Garnett's going to be in the talk. Chris Paul. Yeah. Dwight Paul Howard. Pierce, Chris Bosh. Josh Johnson. But from it's the going Hawks. to be Dwayne Wade that will you win it. So? <laughs> well, we have like what 45 more games to play, so I think we're making a little bit premature predictions, but it's fun. I mean, NBA season is finally getting the ball rolling. <laughs> Does it really no matter if you have a, <laughs> an NBA, MVP on your team if they're not playing in either LA or Boston? Does it really matter? You're no. right. Probably not at all, actually. No. I'm Erica. I'm Jaina. Thanks for watching Two Girls on Sports. What you got?